You guys have to do the work in this segment. Are you ready or what? You have to put your thinking cap on and you have to fill in the blank. I have one, two, three, four, five, six topics. And we wow. begin mm. with Matt Olson. He leads okay. baseball, 43 home runs. He will finish Cam Maven with how many? You want to hear how many he's on base for? 58 right now. Okay. Will he get there, yes or no? Month uh, and a half left. That Ronald would be a Cunha, franchise record. Ronald Cunha will be on base a lot, so he's going to get a lot of good pitches to hit. Okay. He's going to hit his number, 58. 58? Yeah. 58. He's going to get to that number. Well, I'll put him at 60. Sure, why not? Wow. Yeah, get him there. I thought get, I was I, being generous with 54. The, the Braves franchise record, I believe, is 51 by Andrew Jones. Only eight NFL that players be, have that ever will be reached. Broken. That, that's yeah. getting broken. I'll never forget. I think his 50th went in his second deck at Citizens Bank. I think again, again, that's why when we start talking about MVPs, that's why I say Ronald Acuna Jr. And even Matt Olson has said it. He sets the tone. Mm -hmm. As long as he stays on base, guess what? He's going to continue to get fastballs. Look at this clip. Fastball after fastball after fastball. Just watching that <laughs> offense against the Mets and then the Yankees. Oh, just, I mean, I, I just I would have wow. nightmares if really, I was the pitcher seriously. facing him. Nah, you just gave me goosebumps. That, yep. that lineup is scary. He's got a good skit going, huh, Matt Olson? What do you 43 mean? homers, got 170 million, good looking kid, nice kid, playing at home. Yep. Step right in for Freddie Freeman. All right. All right. And at West, hey. we'll have. Hey, hey, Matt. hey Matt Olson. Way to go. Good job. Good job, good job <laughs> Mom and Dad. Nailed that. Remember when his dad, when he took over Freddie Freeman, like, he goes, oh, I don't know. Gosh, that's a terrible position. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the NOS will have blank teams in the playoffs. D. Rowe fell in love with the Padres talent. He has not, not left them up. all not season long. The Dodgers lead the division by 10 games. The Giants a game and a half up on the wild card spot. And the Diamondbacks one and a half back with hard. three teams. This is very to pass. This is hard. Padres four and a half back, four teams to pass. What say you, D. Rowe? Uh, I'm well, the Dodgers are obviously going. I'm going to say two, and I, I, so one more gets added from the likes of the Giants, D-backs, and Pods, and I'm not so sure it's not the Pods. Okay, according to Fangraphs, you want to hear this? Because yeah, it's yeah, not go it. according to what you're saying. Dodgers 100% chance to make yep. the playoffs. Giants 64.4, Diamondbacks 23.7, Padres 24.5. You going yeah. against the numbers, Cam? Uh, you know what? Um, Again, for me, it's tough. I, I came out, I'm a Padres guy, and I think... I'm going to have to stick with D-Rail on this. If they can show me passion like I saw last night, that's for me, it's yeah. it's the energy. When you watch them, sometimes they just don't seem into it. If Cam, they can why get that, they? spark that. You know, I question all the time. You can have great players in the clubhouse. Who is the leader? Who's the guy who gets who's, you rolling? Who's the guy that says, hey, guys, enough is enough? Who puts on George Michael you know, in the clubhouse exactly. and dances It brings around. everybody in together. Who you know what I mean? It's like, I don't know who that is. It's, I don't think it is, but put that's me, what they're missing. I got two. Down. Yeah, I'm put with. me down for two. I, okay. I just don't know who is who else besides the Dodgers. I don't know. Yeah, we don't know but if it's I, the I think Giants it's or the Padres, but, I, man, if the Padres can play with that emotion, the Padres, play for something, they, I think they can do it. What do they, they need Mike Morse. Oh, oh, baby oil, duh. Get, Laurie. Get the baby oil out. They need that. You know yeah. it. Brian, Morse. remember Brian Dozier? Yes, they, they need the, like, you know, a little. <laughs> yes. Come on. A little TK. <laughs> yes. Get you like, some. Look, the first day TK somebody. was back in the Dodgers dugout. That's what he's doing. <laughs> you like, day. you love that. Like, he does that Xander. Come Get on. Going. Hey, the rotation, you, while we're on the topic of October, the rotation you do not want to face in a playoff series is, Robert? I put the Blue Jays. Um, I like it. I, I like Kevin Gosman a lot. Me too. Um, you say Kikuchi has figured it out. Barrios. Uh, Barrios. Shinjin Ryu. Mm. Chris Bassett. Mm. Uh, I love his moxie. So, yeah, I mean, I, I, I think that if they can pitch like they're capable of, they could definitely be a scary rotation that can go all the I way to the World you. Series. Someone's got to say Mariners, no? I'm going to say this with all due respect. I knew the player I was completely. <laughs> But I don't think there is an actual rotation that I would really fear, fear going into the postseason. But the one that stands out is the one that can punch tickets. And I think the Braves can punch tickets. Max Freed can punch you out. Absolutely. He gets on a roll, it's over. Spencer Strider has proven that he can throw four seamers, middle, middle. Charlie so Morton's Chuck got Man, ice. Don't forget about Chuck That's Nashley. what I'm saying. So, like, they would be the one the for me. Before. They would be the one. Experience. And that's what I picked. throwing the ball good. You make it easy for me. I, that's me that, was my, that was that's my pick. That's who you picked. I picked the Braves. It, experience as well. Experience goes a long way. 
These guys, the I Astros. think, are playing for something bigger. I think they looked at what the Astros have done. And I think the Braves want to start to be in that conversation. They want to put themselves in that elite conversation year in and year out. And I think the experience along with that ability to punch tickets, I don't think you want to face the Braves it's because you still got to face that lineup. Man. He's like, you get behind, I know. all of a sudden, now you're chasing, you got to face that rotation. I think it's tough. It's constant evolution, too, and the Braves have it, and the Astros have it, and the Dodgers have it, not resting, right? Always Absolutely. making little changes Absolutely. in the offseason, and we've seen it come to fruition. The best dressed player in baseball, mm. whoa, is You want me to start? Blank, yeah, yes, Cam. Oh, I, listen, I've got that. two. I've got two because okay. I love the show because we can I'm do that. I'm in on his yeah, energy. Absolutely. We can do that. I, together. I love him. Oh, we can do that. Listen. What do you got? Frankie Lindor, number one. Okay. Number two, Araldis Chapman, the Cuban Missile. I mean, Ooh. his drip is off the charts, man. This guy, everyday designer. I mean. Really? Uh, uh, look, look, here's look Lindor. Frankie, Frankie here's Lindor. just Lindor. sharp every day. I love his swag. It's never like too much, but it's just enough. It's so, it's cleans. And you know what I mean? Look at Frankie. Robert. Drippy. That's drip, right? I mean, I, I would never. I don't know if we dare. have any Araldis chat, no. but Araldis too drippy. No, we should never. You and I should never try to wear something like that. What, I'm gonna take you on a shopping spree <laughs> one day. I'll roughly, I'm gonna, you know what? You gonna go at me one day? I'm I mean, I, matter of fact, we're not. I, this I can't is take me. You. This is me being. This drippy. is no uh, middle. You know, <laughs> right Andrew here. Cashner used to tell me this ain't. This not any middle of the mall outfit either. <laughs> middle of the mall. <laughs> nah, this oh. is not middle of the mall. I, right I'm here. gonna go with. I'm gonna go with. This is just based on his baseball. That's how I. With. How I did it. Shohei Otani. I'm so fascinated by, I mean, he looks great in a uniform, but he's got all sorts of these futuristic looking pads. He does. Yeah, he does uh, have the best. He's in, They're molded to Yeah. Him. What, what it, it's almost like he's Iron Man. Like he just jumps out of the dugout into a. <laughs> Well, he, is yeah. a, he is AI. I told you, he's yeah. not a real person. So I, I, I love all Dude, the... Do that again when we come on camera, because that was good. Yeah, he goes, steps in, <laughs> and he's... <laughs> hey, rough and on the red carpet, he's just wears a... I like that, I like that. Huh? He just wears a suit on the red carpet. He's like, and I'm clean, handsome though. enough. It's clean. I'm yeah. the best in the game. He's got a translator. Mm-hmm. Ipe. Ipe. Who's got the life. Buddy. Okay, I'm going with who looks clean in a uniform. And okay. Every time I turn on the D-backs, it doesn't matter if they're in no, that's, throwbacks. That's a good one. Cattell Marte has got swag that's and fair. drip all the time. I love the fact that he takes the time to make sure the sleeves lay on the bicep the right way. <laughs> yeah. I hate when guys don't do that right. I took the extra 30 seconds in spring with Majestic or Nike, and I was I like, wanted I wanted a little bit tapered. I wanted it tapered. I needed a half inch. I learned from the Half best. inch less than what best. the norms. And I was got. slim. They call me. I'm slim, not going to so sit there and do hammer curls and skull crushers <laughs> and then hide them on a Sunday day in St. Louis. Yeah, I'm going it. eye black pipes, the whole deal. And that's not all of it. The, the purple. Give me it all. Pipes. He looks good in the purple. He looks great. He does.